Over its 10,000-year-old history, Anatolia, the land that is now Turkey, has been home to many civilizations. Sagalossos is one of those ancient cities founded high up in the Taurus Mountains in an ancient region called Pisidia. The history of Sagalossos stretches from prehistoric times to the Roman period, and the city gradually developed into an urban center. Archaeologists began large-scale excavations in 1990. Now a total of 369 artifacts from the site are on display at Istanbul's Yapukredi Culture and Arts Building on Istiklal Street. Notable remains from the site include the statue of Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, which was originally 5 meters high. Built during his reign, there is also the Antonin's Fountain. The restoration work was completed in 2010. Now this 1,800-year-old fountain is running again, making it only one of the very few of its kind in the world today. But the exhibition is not only about the artistic development of Sagalossos, but how the society there evolved. Jeroen Poblome has studied Sagalossos since the early 1990s. He thinks there are lessons we can derive from the case of the Pisidian town. I, I think the main message is we're all human um, and uh, in being human we encounter lots of normal problems and that was the same in antiquity as it as is nowadays. Major problems that face modern cities like Istanbul such as urban sprawl, feeding the masses and a city's impact on the environment. And we noticed that, that uh, the total amount of inhabitants in Sargalossos and also in its territory, they pushed the, the forest availability to its limits. So they, they couldn't expand more, that's one. Two, we see from um, uh, the agricultural studies that we do that they have also been reaching the limits of the uh, carrying capacity of the land. So the land could only produce so much food. At the same time, Sargalossos was still at the prime of what the period has to offer. If you then ask, why didn't they industrialize? Pobloma thinks that's not a question specific to Sagalassos, but a general one about the Roman Empire. It is linked to the primacy in the economy is agriculture, and agriculture thinks in, in cyclical ways. They don't think, think in terms of progress. We're obsessed with progress. We link progress with innovation, uh, with, with, with gain and efficiency, but that's a very modern idea. That's even an idea that, that started happening in the past century for most of us. Beginning in the early 1200s, Sagalossos no longer progresses as a society, but its legacy continues to live on today, right here in downtown Istanbul. Sena Arslan, TRT World, Istanbul.